bright duty every student matters hello students today once again i am here with chapter number 16 of your book political science globalization now let's read about the chapter what is there in this chapter first of all we'll go for meaning of the globalization then what are the causes or the circumstances leading to globalization then the consequences of globalization then india and globalization and what is anti globalization movement now here there is a picture where we could define where the globalization is interlinked with it is integration of economics equality or inequality communication recognition trade versus aid outsourcing grants exploitation growth poverty environment monopoly capitalism culture free trade technology the internet shrinking the world terrorism accountability that means it is multi dimensional process the globalization global the word used for the world that means the whole world is included in this globalization See what exactly the globalization is. There are many flows. It is the flow of ideas. It is the flow of capital. It is the flow of commodity. It is the flow of people. It is the flow of technology, information, and knowledge. And this is around the globe. That means in the whole country and the whole world. These flows are more quick and wider now than before because of increased connectivity and development in communication and technology. see what is the globalization it is an international process an international integration arising from the interchange of world views products ideas and other aspects of culture in particular advances in transportation and telecommunication infrastructure including the rise of the internet are major factors in globalization and precipitate further interdependence of economic and cultural activities here you could see like what things we are using in this globalization we all are aware of mcdonalds netflix army games fashion education in the field of internet everything is part of globalization now what are the causes of globalization let's see globalization first of all the definition that means it is it makes the world smaller and it expands the technology It is easy to contact people throughout the world. Like nowadays, we are using mobile phones, Skype. We are taking help of social media, WhatsApp, internet, email. So it is very easy to contact people throughout the people in minutes, in seconds, and more cultural diversity. Like we are more focused on uh, different kinds of food and uh, clothes we wear. So what is happening? The people are interchanging the cultures as well. So it is. migration of cultural to in the field of education like traditional education and modern education are affected like stronger focus in technology and science and in modern education less gender exclusive subjects so what are the causes of globalization the globalization caused by the speed of the flows then the technology remains as critical element the invention of the telegraph the telephone the microchip internet and world wide net the development of high speed transporting system printing technology mass media and electronic media money market and stock market exchanges water education professional degrees such as mba btech mca and medical degree now let's see what are the causes or circumstances leading to globalization policy of economic liberalization and privatization with the disintegration of soviet union and the end of the communist regime to Europe the socialist economy and communist ideas suffered a serious of setback and it was an era of democratization and economic liberalism set in and it created a free enterprise friendly environment in all the regions of the globe one country after another opened its borders to trade and foreign investment and it gave impetus to globalization of market production multinational corporations and industries worldwide then there are a uh, few more causes like interconnectedness between states and people so globalization is also being driven by the fact that people or states were also interconnected and health and environmental problems respect to climate 
virus like SARS moves around the world in a matter of hours due to air travel. Today, it is an international organization which provides disaster relief. In the event of tsunami or earthquake, clean up polluted environment and attempt to control diseases like HIV, AIDS, and bird flu. Now, what are the consequences of those conditions? Political, economic, and cultural. Now, let's discuss about political consequences. Globalization results in an erosion of faith, apathy, welfare state is now giving way to a more minimal state and state capacity has received a boost. Enhanced technology helps state to collect information about its citizens. Now, reduction in state's welfare functions. Under the pressure of IMF and World Bank, the governments are withdrawing from many of their welfare activities. Developing countries needed aid and loans to meet their financial crisis. The IMP advanced loans and grants to these countries on the condition that they reduce subsidies on housing, education, etc. It meant that countries accepting IMP aid were forced to give up many of their welfare functions. Now, how did globalization affect states of the world? Despite globalization, there has not been much decline in states' role in international policy. Even if a state failed to prevent a civil war or to protect its citizens from an anarchy, Trying to avoid other states' intervention at all costs, such an intervention is regarded as an assault on national sovereignty. Now, globalization has reinforced states' capabilities also. Let's see how. States' capa capabilities as military power that have improved to a large extent, an important reason for making them more powerful is the improved technology that added to the destructive power of them at their disposal. Secondly, the state have now better access to information, an information rich state speak the word better than their earlier counterparts, the leaders who are well informed so much about what is happening in the country. Now there are few economic consequences of globalization also. That means the uh, the state is economically benefited or sometimes there are some drawbacks too. Let's see what. Increased role of international institutions like IMF and WTO, flow of commodities, capital, people, and ideas, and greater trade across the globe. The restrictions on movement of capital across countries have also been reduced. Right? And some economists have described economic globalization as a recolonization of the world. Because, you know, it could be, it's not directly colonized now. The countries which are fully developed, they are uh, relocating in the countries which are under development and they are introducing multinational companies or they are expanding their business with them. So, this is indirect colonization. Now, a free flow of goods and services. Let's see how globalization greatly facilitated the movement of goods, services and capital across national borders. And obviously, now the people exchange the goods and the services and everything is available at global level. So, it has been facilitated and it is a migration of goods and services across national borders. The role of World Bank, IMF and financial institutions. Now, how these institutions are helped? The World Bank, IMP and World Trade Organization are the three main institutions which work for the implementation of the policy of globalization. They force the developing countries to open their markets to multinational corporations. This is very important. See, these three financial institutions, they help in the implementation of the policy of globalization. And they have forced the developing countries to open their markets to multinational corporations, that is MNC, under the rules framed by World Trade Organization in most duties were to be used, and this direction benefited the MNC. Now, free flow of the investors have an access to global capital. For instance, the American companies and businessmen are investing billions of dollars in Indian companies. And Indian investors can invest their money in America, Europe, and other companies. This is a good sign. Free movement of persons, like thousands of persons who have access to foreign countries, but the movement of persons does not appear to have increased in the same proportion as the goods and capital flow from one country to another. And the developed world has not shown much keenness in. Accepting people from Now, few are cultural consequences also. Let's see what. 
Globalization affects us in our home, in what we eat, the popularity of a burger, drink, coke, everyone uh, drinks it. We have blue jeans, we all have blue jeans. And like globalization leads to the rise of uniform culture, what is called cultural homogenization. Then global culture is the imposition of western culture of the rest of the world. Like we all are running after the western culture. And or on the contrary, we could say like this is an exchange of the culture as well. Like the western people are moving forward towards us for uh, act, adapting our culture and we are just imposed of western culture. Then like if we say McDonaldization of the world, shrinking of the rich cultural heritage of the entire globe leads to each culture becoming more different and distinctive and this phenomenon is called cultural heterogenization. External influences enlarge the choices and modify culture. See the pictures. Like uh, here are so many pictures like people are changing their day-to-day -day life with this globalization's effect. Here are the pictures, burger, McDonald's, jeans with kurta, Marks and Spencer, Starbucks coffee and the new mobile. And you all are aware of all these things and every second day we come up with the new technologies, new brands and new food items and new dresses. Netflix. YouTube, festivals, more together, days, and here are a few symbols of uh, multimedia and the, uh, uh, the what we uh, say is social media where we are, we all are comfortable using all these. But there is a criticism of globalization also. Like each thing has some positive effects and some negative effects as well. So what is this criticism of globalization? Like there are phase of global capitalism that makes the rich richer and the poor poorer. And uh, culturally they are worried that traditional culture will be harmed and people will lose their age old values and faith. And anti-globalization movements too participate in global networks aligned with those who feel like they are in other countries. And this is uh, the things which are the against of globalization. Globalization uses up finite resources more quickly. That means which are not even required, they use all those resources finitely. Then globalization increases world carbon dioxide emission and it makes it virtually impossible for regulators in one country to foresee the worldwide implications of their action. And globalization acts to increase world oil prices. Well. 